first off, I would like to say how grateful I am to um, be here anchored at um, the Hyatt House with the youth in this Leadership Academy. Um, to be able to have a part to play in um, you know, their growth and development personally and professionally through this leadership program um, is you know, beyond me. I'm just, I'm just highly grateful. Um, I'm also grateful to be able to witness firsthand um, how these youth have blossomed um, during this process. So they've been here for four weeks. This is the fifth week and um, you know they've engaged in conversations regarding um, their leadership styles, what kind of leader they are, what kind of leader they need. They've participated in diversity, equity and inclusion conversations, you know, to make us as the adults who provide these services to them more aware of what it is that they need, whether it's in the school system or just in the services that we provide at Career Source. I just love to the fact that I have this opportunity to be here and, and witness it, you know, and um, more than witness as well, you know, be able to contribute to this amazing program. I mean, this program was the vision of our CEO, John Flanagan, and our CPPO, uh, Jody Toner. Um, who foresaw the need for, you know, not just paid work experience and career exploration, but also, you know, in order to uh, recognize the fact that in our summer job connection, we have emerging leaders and to give the youth the opportunity to explore that as an avenue through which we can pour into them. So, you know, in the next two weeks, they are exploring entrepreneurship and will have the amazing opportunity to interact with CEOs. There's even a, an NFL um, player from the Green Bay Packers who is coming to speak to the youth about, you know, um, about developing themselves as a leader. So, you know, just amazing opportunity for a career source to be able to open up for the youth um, through the summer job connection and the leadership um, track. And hopefully, as we continue to grow in career source and the services that we provide to the youth, Maybe we can see more of this in our year-round program. So because, you know, just listening to the youth and the feedback that they've been giving about their experience and, you know, their growth, the connections that they're making. Um, we have kids from the same school that didn't know each other. They used to see each other on campus and now they're talking every day. They're, you know, meeting at their snack time and, you know, furthering the conversations that they're having in their sessions. So, you know, these sessions are thought provoking and um, really bringing out the leader in them. So when we say emerging leaders, like it truly is what it is. Like, you know, we're sowing the seeds and these youth are really showing up and showing out. So, you know, I just, I'm just grateful to have the opportunity to be here with them. So one of the, um, one of the things that they did during their um, week of diversity, equity, inclusion, and culture conversations was they, um, you know, explored who they are and how they want to see the world later on. And at the end of that week, they became certified change agents. Uh, what an amazing thing for a 16 to 24 year old to be a certified change agent, um, to be able to verbalize and to take action on, you know, the things that they feel the world needs to be for them, right? So I've seen the youth, um, you know, not just open up but start really like thinking about the great ideas that they have for what the future holds for them and for, for their generation. Because if we think about it, in 30 years, these are gonna be the politicians, the policemen, the doctors, the lawyers, the, um, the everything, like these are gonna be our leaders. And you know, being able to give them the opportunity now to explore what they want the world to be Albeit right now, it's just via conversation. But every great dream starts with the thought, then the conversation, then the plan, and then the action. You know, so we are well on our way to equipping these youth with the tools for them to make our world in 30 years, 20 years, however long, you know, a better world and how they see it.